Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Inna Allah la yantazi'u al-'ilma intiza'an." Allah will not take the knowledge at once. Walakin yaqbidhuhu bi qabdi al-'ulama. But he he will take it by taking the lives of the scholars. So one by one the scholars will decrease. Hatta lam yatruka aliman until there will be no scholar. فَيَتَّخِذُ النَّاسُ رُؤَسَاءَ جُهَّالًا Then the people will appoint leaders and chiefs, scholars who are ignorant in real. فَسُئِلُوا فَأَفْتَوْ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ Then they will be asked and they will make their fatwas without knowledge. فَظَلُّوا وَأَوِلُّوا So they got misguided and they have misguided. Just imagine of the hadith of today scenario. What is going on? Day by day, you listen about some scholar have passed away, but it will be difficult for you to know who was replaced. And you will easily find the new face is coming without real base of knowledge. And how they came? They came with a group of people. Selected him and put him. Not a group of scholars have appointed him, but the group of youngest have put him as their leader and a scholar and a person for fatwa. And then they will be asked the question, and rarely you listen from them. I don't know. It is very rare that such people they say, I don't know. And then you will find every day we have a new group. We will find every day there is a fighting between scholars or semi-scholars maybe. Or you will find every day there is a fighting between two groups. Each group is defending their scholar. Or you may find new type of fatwas which never been heard. This is the scenario. And this is actually the statement of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which he have already told. I would like to tell you that in this hadith, which I have just read for you and translated, there are three type of people mentioned, and I want all of us know and recognize these three types, then classify ourselves where we stand, and try to find the solutions to correct ourselves. So the first type, which is mentioned, is ignorant people. Because the scholars are gone, so the people are ignorant. They don't know. And here you will find people ignorant. They don't bother what is going on. They don't want to seek knowledge as well. And easily you can identify them by a few things characteristic. You will find so many mistakes. In their daily religious life, mistakes in the prayer, mistakes in the Quran recitation, mistakes in the transactions, mistakes in the family life, mistakes in the social life. Everywhere there will be mistakes, and they don't bother to correct themselves. And you will find them consuming haram, doing haram without they know this is haram. When some says it is haram, they got surprised. Is it really haram? We didn't know. Especially when we talk about the transactions and uh, interest and riba, which is all spread. Even you may find some people listening to the music. Is it really haram? We didn't know. Shaking hand to non-muharram, they are surprised. It is haram. Even some people don't know that they are cousin sisters. Are not sisters in the religion, and they are surprised to know that. And among few small examples, which you may also get surprised, that even the wife of the uncle is not mahram. This is also something most of us may not know. The wife of the uncle. 
is not mahram the same for the girl the husband of the aunt is not a mahram continuing with this part you also may find them falling into the bid'ahs without they know this is bid'ah it will be very common practice for them and they think it's a worship it's something good why it isn't real bid'ah the reason behind that is the ignorance which is spread all over and the solution for these people first please concern to your religion pay attention to it learn it search for the fatwas be selective in selecting the people who you are going to ask instead of being very free to ask anyone anything in dunya things they are very careful in asking and taking suggestions but in religious part they don't bother who they are asking they ask anyone anything subhanallah and know that ignorance in such situation is not accepted otherwise all the disbelievers will be forgiven because they say we don't know but it will not be accepted especially if you have sources for questioning alhamdulillah we have not reached that level that the scholars will be zero still you have sources to ask a question